Hey guys, I'm Vadim from Bizgrip and finally just a few hours ago Apple announced new iPhones 12 series. We've been waiting for this event for a long time just to see what's new coming to the camera systems and looks like uh, there are significant improvements. So you guys always asking us uh, if iPhones 12 gonna be compatible with our current cages or Bizgrip Pro. So I decided to make this a quick live stream video just to share some thoughts based on information that we currently have on uh, apple.com and uh, because still uh, there is no final specs available. So we decided to make this video just to share uh, what we think gonna work and what's new coming to the Bizgrip uh, products line. Quickly, I wanna share my impression uh, based on presentation about new features that come into iPhone's uh, cameras, especially for iPhone 12 Pro Max. Larger sensor, 10-bit uh, Dolby Vision video recording, can't wait to try it and see how it's gonna look. We also can see that actual camera modules are larger because larger sensor size, uh, but also uh, they did change the position of the main camera on iPhone 12 Pro Max and on iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. So it's kind of not at the edge of the phone, but instead of uh, telecamera on if we compare it to previous iPhone 11 series. So probably because of the sensor size and new image stabilization through the sensor, they had to do that. And question is how it's gonna fit with the Beast Grip Pro and uh, what's new gonna be with uh, Beast Cages. iPhone 12 mini should fit perfectly fine into the Beast Grip Pro. Uh, we're definitely gonna have a new cage for that phone just because it's much smaller uh, and we have to design new cage. iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, uh, they are actually the same exact size, but they are much smaller compared to iPhone 11 because uh, much thinner bezels and each, it's actually thinner. So we're definitely gonna have new cage but there is a chance for iphone 12 and iphone 12 pro we're actually gonna have a single cage model just because they're exactly the same in size it's a different camera layout but because on iphone 12 we're gonna have main wide camera and ultra wide camera uh, we just want to make sure that lens mount is aligned with the main camera properly so basically we should be able to come up with a single cage design to be able to use on both iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. As for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we had a little bit of concern how it's gonna fit with the Beast Grip Pro, just because again, the camera system is a little bit larger and they did change the position of the main camera. So here I got iPhone 11 Pro Max and we tried to align the telecamera with the lens mount, it fits perfectly. Uh, but uh, because of the larger camera module on iPhone 12 Pro Max, we were a little bit concerned how it's gonna align. So we did quick uh, 3D models based on photos and size packs from apple.com and uh, everything looks good. So it should fit perfectly fine. You should be able to align lens mount with the main camera, even if it's different position and uh, so far everything looks good and we think it will work just perfectly fine the same way as iPhone uh, 11 series. And of course Beast Clamp is gonna be compatible with all of the iPhones. And uh, for the Beast cage for iPhone 12 Pro Max, we also gonna have a new cage. It's not gonna fit into cage for iPhone 11 Pro Max just because the phone is physically larger and thinner. So it's totally completely different size. So since cages are model specific, uh, designed with precise fit for specific iPhone model, uh, we have to design new cage and uh, yeah, they're not gonna be compatible with existing cages. 
as soon as we're gonna have new phones we obviously gonna test them with our Beast Group Pro with all of our lenses with the DUF adapter just to see how uh, larger sensor gonna perform with external optics because that's another question oh and quick note because of a AR sensor on iPhone uh, a LiDAR sensor on iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max uh, we were thinking maybe Apple gonna introduce uh, portrait mode in video but they didn't so still DF adapter is the best tool out there to achieve nice and shallow depths of field thank you guys for watching and stay tuned